Hello children, how are you? I am Miss Madhavi. Today I am going to teach you standard 3 science. Lesson 2, our body. Key topics are internal organs of the human body, respiratory system, the process of breathing, deep breathing, air pollution. Children, before we will start about internal organs of human body, let us discuss about the inter external organs what you learned in previous year in standard 2. What are external organs? The parts of the body that we can see are called external organs. Example, legs, hands, eyes, nose, etc. Now we are going to learn about internal organs. Our body is made up of strong cells. Many cells together make tissues. Many tissues make organs. Many organs together form an organ system. And many organ system form a body. Different parts of the body perform different functions. The organs which we cannot see that are located inside our body are called internal organs. Example, brain lungs, heart, kidneys, etc. A group of organs together perform a particular function is called an organ system. Some organ systems are respiratory system, digestive system, skeletal system, etc. Now we are going to learn about internal organs of the human body. The major internal organs are brain, heart, lungs, stomach and intestines, kidneys, liver, bones. We will discuss one by one in brief. Now we are going to discuss about brain. Brain, it is located inside the head. It is a very important part of the human body. Brain helps us to think and also send messages to all the parts of the body. As it is very important, very delicate, it is protected by a bony structure called skull. It controls all the activities of the human body. Now we are going to discuss about heart. It is located on the left side of the chest cavity. It is protected inside our ribcage. This is also a very important part of human body. It is a muscular organ. It pumps blood to various organs of the body. Blood is carried through a narrow tube-like structure called blood vessels. Lungs Lungs are spongy structure present inside the chest cavity. I breathe with the help of lungs. They expand when you breathe in and absorb oxygen. They contrast when you breathe out and exhale carbon dioxide. Stomach and intestine. The food we eat reaches stomach through the food pipe. From the stomach, the food goes into the intestines. The organs break down food into simpler substance and the process of breaking down into simpler substance is called digestion. This it is located inside our abdomen. Liver. Liver is also located on the liver is located on the right side of the stomach. It produces digestive juice that help in the breakdown of food or in digestion of food. Kidneys. These two bean shaped organs present inside our abdomen. It filters excess amount of salt and water from our blood and eliminate it from our body in the form of urine. Bones. Bones are so very important in our body. Bones give shape to our body and muscles attached to the bones help us in movement. There are 206 bones in our body together form an from the skeleton. There are 600 muscles in our body. Now we are going to discuss about one more topic respiratory system. All living things need air to breathe that we all of you know. The process of breathing is called respiration. It is controlled by a system called respiratory system. 
द सिस्टम हैज थ्री ऑर्गन्स नोज विंड पाइप एंड लंग्स द मेन फंक्शन ऑफ रेस्पिरेटरी सिस्टम इज टू टेक इन ऑक्सीजन एंड गिव आउट कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड नाउ द थ्री ऑर्गन्स विल डिस्कस वन बाय वन नोज वी ब्रीद ए थ्रू नोज द प्रोसेस ऑफ ब्रीथिंग इन ए टू ऑब्जर्व ऑक्सीजन इज कॉल्ड इनहेरेशन द प्रोसेस ऑफ ब्रीथिंग आउट ए to give out carbon dioxide is called exhalation the openings in the nose present are called nostrils the fine hair in our nose does not allow dust particles and germs to enter the respiratory system wind pipe the air that we breathe through our nose passes through a passage to reach the lungs this passage is known as wind pipe or trachea the wind pipe divides into two tubes which enters the lungs now lungs they they are sponge like store organs located inside the chest cavity already we discussed this they are present in a pair one on each side of the cavity the right lung is slightly bigger in size than the left lung now i am going to discuss our process of breathing the process of breathing involves two processes inhalation and exhalation when you breathe in air it enters through our nose and goes down our windpipe it passes down the two tubes and fills into the lungs in lungs the oxygen gets absorbed by the blood the blood carries oxygen to all the parts of the body then the body produces carbon dioxide as a waste which mixes with the blood and is removed from the body with the air that we breathe out it is called exhalation just beneath the lungs is the diaphragm which is a muscular organ it also helps in the process of breathing now deep breathing children yeah. deep breathing is a simple exercise which are doing in our everyday life like yoga in yoga you are going to breathe deep breathing it helps us to absorb more oxygen it relaxes our body and mind it is very good for health now we are going to discuss about one more topic air pollution air gets polluted when smoke from vehicles or gases from factories get mixed with the air and also dust particles pollute the air making it difficult for us to breathe such an air is called polluted air the causes of air pollution harmful gases and smoke releases released from vehicles and factories that get mixed with the air burning of coal at home and in factories bursting of fire crackers in festivals and marriages smokes and gases as arising out of volcano eruptions and forest fires these are the main causes of air pollution what are the effects of air pollution when we inhale this polluted air harmful substances make us sick some common problems of air polluted air are asthma headache diseases of lungs and skin heart disease etc so it is essential to control our activities which help us to keep the air clean now there are some assignments for you children complete these assignments thank you